Shake Tech Entertainment Production. Hey yo, hey yo, I've been thinking. My thoughts have consumed me, so I had to let her know how I feel. So I think I'm gonna do it a little bit something like this. You ready? Check this out. You know what? My thoughts consume my mind, for it is within my mind that the very essence.
Getting tired of that shit, my nigga. And what's up all the talking about you get money and shit, man? Man, I'm tired of motherfuckers hitting me up talking about they wanna get some money, man. DJ Get money.
girl Why you talking to me? Cause you ain't black definite That's success in the streets I'm talking about a success for me Getting a half a brick And I'm moving, whip around And move around and whip it quick That's all I really know I'ma let the nigga know Ain't nothing to this shit But to get that pot and stole And I cook, and I cook And I do this shit every week But you gotta understand Man, this game ain't sweet I move this shit real quick, my nigga And I ain't even talking about that bullshit You better know that bad woman moving bricks And I don't wanna hit 30 before I lose the clip It's like a bitch with no ass can't never be a stripper So I pull that trigger and secure that nigga Man, that nigga is a snake, he a witness He better kill everybody ass motherfucker When it ain't constantly giving Fuck how you living Niggas getting mad cause he broke straight trippin' Woo! Win is a win and I'm trapping the rabbit I'm still in the back in the club straight sippin' This is double effects, yeah I'm getting it off Half a brick cost more risk cost Most of y'all niggas stay pissed off yeah. Damn, my problem is your wrist fall <laughs> Now you look that yeah. Now your shoes dirty uh. You screaming Yo bitch, where you get the money? You, you all in my hood straight askin' But I'm all in the trap game laughing. Yeah. But it ain't 15 like Madden And I always make shit happen So when you talk to me, cause you ain't by definite, that success in the streets, I'm talking about a success for me, getting a half a brick, and I move it, whip around, and move around, and whip it quick, that's all I really know, I'ma let the nigga know, ain't nothing to this shit, but to get that pot and stole, and I cook, and I cook, and I do this shit every week, but you gotta understand, man, this game ain't sweet. My song that I wrote is called He Will Never Leave You. How many of you out there that know that those who God has saved, he said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. He will never leave you.
you so much. I love you all. Take care. God bless. God for Bobby Bay, give it up for Miss Angel Session. Yes. And for a couple of moments, if you don't mind, indulge me for a few minutes. And I just want to know, how can we uh, take advantage of this music ministry that we ha that you have and pick up your album or find out more about you? Tell us a little bit. Glory be to God the highest. My album is Hearts for Love. And it is on Amazon and iTunes, Google Play, and all online stores. CD Baby as well. So my website is www.angelsessions.com, and just go out and support me if it's, you know, God's will, and just buy the album, and I will have some here to sell. Excellent, excellent. So I see in my hand right here that, uh, hold this for me if you don't mind, in my hand I have her album, and I want everyone that can to go ahead and let her know that you support her in the ministry. Her name is Angel Sessions. The album title is Hearts of Broken Love, and she has songs like, what is this? The Great I Am, of what you sang yeah. earlier. Uh, Hearts of Broken Love, Christ is the Word, He Will Never Leave You, and a whole lot more. You have a total of 15 songs on this album right here, so go ahead and pick it up and support it. She'll be to my right-hand side over here, and I hope that you keep on moving forward in Christ. Give it up for her one more time, everybody. Her name is Miss Angel Sessions. Thank you so much. So you're more than welcome. Only in the forest can you see this. <laughs> and this. And this. But nothing beats the moment you see that. Cool! That's your child's eyes opening up to a world of possibilities. I didn't know it could do that! Because one trip to the forest can spark a world of difference. There are some moments only the forest can inspire. Find yours at discovertheforest.org. Learn about forests near you and discover cool things to do when you go, like hiking, canoeing, fishing, or camping. Or create your own adventure with family and friends, and you might just see this. Your moment's out there. Find it at discovertheforest.org. That's discovertheforest.org. Brought to you by the U.S. Forest Service and the Ad Council. Who said that? Me, down here. Ugh, what are you, a yellow booger? I'm a banana slug, Steven. Well, uh, what are you doing in my room? I'm your sense of adventure. Don't you remember me? Don't you know that we miss you? Miss me? Who misses me? You know, all your friends in the forest. The trees, the pond, that little fort that you made out of branches. We all miss you. Mom took me to the forest last year. I'm a slug, Steven. It took me a long time to get here. Oh, I guess that makes sense. The forest is not that far away. Have an adventure today. I'm sure your mom would take you. You're right. I should get out. I want to have fun. Play in puddles, catch frogs, and climb trees. Hey, Mom! Yeah, hon? <gasps> Stephen! What is that in your hand? It's my sense of adventure, Mom. It's telling me we need to get out of the house and have some fun in nature today. Come to the forest where the more adventurous you lives. Check out discovertheforest.org for cool places nearby. Brought to you by the U.S. Forest Service and the Ad Council. Every time we've unveiled a new attraction, attendance has spiked. Attendance has spiked in North American movie theaters as well. Jurassic World took a monster bite of the box office again and remains on top this week with 54.2 million in ticket sales. The dinosaurs have carried their weight. This Jurassic flick now ranks as the fifth highest grossing domestic release of all time. We have an asset out of containment. I'm Joy. This is Sadness. That's anger. Yes. All of these emotions are adding to the allure of the Pixar animation Inside Out, taking second place this weekend with 52.1 million in sales. They're mostly happy, you'll notice, not to brag. I wanted to maybe hold one. 11-year-old Riley, brought to life by the voice of Caitlin Diaz, moves to San Francisco with her family where she confronts a slew of colorful emotions. There are no bears in San Francisco. I saw a really hairy guy. Yeah, we need a sperm donut. This pot-smoking teddy bear is confronting problems of his own. I'm doing this for you, so when I get in there, I can just bust it up. Many analysts had predicted Ted 2 would be the summer's biggest comedy. Instead, the film sits at third at the box office, bringing in 32.9 million in ticket sales. Oh, here, wait, wait. I'm going to take a picture and post it on Facebook.
Ladies and gentlemen, the Batmobile. <laughs> cool. Twitter CEO Dick Costolo is out. Jack Dorsey, the co-founder, chairman, and former CEO is back in, at least on a temporary basis. Twitter has been just it's been a mess. crazy <laughs> leadership futility, a lot of yeah. revolving doors. Now three CEOs are going to be sitting on the board. Yeah, that'll make it hard to hire a new one, to put it uh, lightly. Um, you know, perhaps perhaps Jack will stay. The problem is that the Twitter it, it, it's complicated because of its past, basically. In most other tech companies, you have a, a charismatic founder who owns a big chunk of the stock, and then that's able, like you know, think of Facebook, for instance, Zuckerberg. He has absolute control; he can do whatever he wants. With Twitter, you had this really complicated situation where Costello only had a, a, like one oh, percent of the company, right. basically. Dorsey um, owns, Dorsey big owns big more, but then Evan Williams owns even more than him. You know, another and, and, co and other co-founders on the, on the board. board, and so it became who's actually running the ship. And, I mean, and in a way, that actually the ownership structure actually makes the company somewhat vulnerable, um, and even more vulnerable with a leadership void. Right, and I think there's been a lot of questions about. I mean, although it's growing fast, uh, the, the company revenue grew, I think, nearly doubled last year, I think. But you know, it, it's not penetrating, not getting enough revenue, not getting enough money out of users. And enough users. Not enough users, even investors are concerned about that, have been for a while. It's one of the pressures that was on Dick Coppola in the first place. And there's been talk about whether one of the even bigger tech companies, and this is a $20 billion company, on the even bigger tech